Hi, I'm Stephanie. Hi, I'm Sia. And today we're here for Carry Out Crafts and we're making a spider web hoop wreath. Yay! It's really fun. It's pretty easy and it looks really cute. So, yeah. All right, Sam, you're the one who did that pretty hoop wreath. Yes. Let me know how is how do we do this? What's the All right. So, what we've got right now is we've got a nice hoop. We've got some paint to decorate everything. We've got our lovely spiders, okay. the wonderful webbing, and then a ribbon to hang it up with. And then to hold the webbing and the spiders there, we got some Mod Podge. Okay, yeah, so that's not paint. That that's, is not paint. That's, that's, that's not pop. paint. Okay. And <laughs> paintbrush. And then paintbrush. Okay. Um, and so what you'll want to have also is a cup of water because since we are going to be doing different Sorry. things with the paintbrush, exactly. right? Exactly. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, and you do want to have a surface down because it can get messy whenever you're painting. Especially since we're going to be painting all of this. The hoop. Alright, so what's the first step? Alright, first we're going to paint the hoop. With the black. With the black. Get it all up in there. So all sides. All sides, all around. A little can go a long way with this stuff. I am going to... I'm so going to get this on myself. Oh yeah, you are. <laughs> I need a bit. It's like I got it on me when I was practicing. All right, now that the paint, or now that we've done with the hoop, okay. clean, clean your brush. I am so gonna, not good at cleaning the brush. So you just circle, circle it around. Circle it the, around. On the, touch, have it touch the bottom. Okay. Just circle it around. Okay. It's not gonna look completely clean because black pigment will always cling to the to paintbrush. The brush. Okay. Yes. And then well, just that's good to know. And then just use the side of the cup oh, to get to, some of the water out. Yeah. Oh, and okay. then and then you can use your paper towel paper towel to dry it. Okay. Okay. All right. What do we do next? Next up is going to be our big old spider. Ooh. We are going to paint him with the glitter gold. Ooh, the glitter gold. I'm excited about glitter. I like glitter. <laughs> My dog does not like glittered items. He growls. We have a glitter skull that he growls at yes. at Halloween. So this paint is a little bit will won't look like much until after it is completely dried. Oh, okay. So just put if you want to put gloss on it, totally can. But you're basically just moving the glitter around. Yeah, because it's kind of like one of those things where glitter you don't think it's everywhere, but it's right. everywhere, right? Right. Okay. So. Glopping it on, perfectly okay. If you want to get all of all of them, you totally can. That is all up to you. But yeah, but it's not going to be like the whole spider will be glitter. It'll just right. be a black spider with gold glitter flakes on exactly. it. Exactly. Okay. What about the litter spiders? Do you paint those? If you want to paint those, you totally can. There's plenty of the glitter paint to be able to do that as an option. You know what? I'm going to do that. All right, so okay. the next step is going to be putting the webbing on the hoop. Now, how in the world do we do this? So, this is going to be the interesting part because we're not going to have it pinned down until the very end. We're just, just take one end of it and put it somewhere you want on the hoop, hold on to it, and then just stretch it around and then just keep wrapping it. 
Uh, I did it totally different. And then when you get to a spot that it starts thinning out, you can just keep stretching it. The best thing about this stuff is that the thinner it is, the more it looks like spider's web. And you can just drape it over, just let it hang. Any, any part that is loose like this, I don't, I'm not sure if this is visible, but we will be able to glue it down with the Mod Podge and hold it in place. I am not good at spider webs. Is there a secret to make them look better? Just any, any spots that you see that's got more, like any of these kind of spots, just keep pulling. Okay. And then even this little bit right there, you can spread it out as much as possible. And then it, it maybe get rid of any clumpy clumps. If you want. Yeah. If it doesn't spread anymore. Right. Okay. But if you kind of just like push it up against the the yeah. side, it, it stays for the most part. And the best part is, is like there's no wrong design when it comes to spider webs. Right. All right. So what's the next step? Next step is taking the Mod Podge and going around the entire rim of the hoop to glue down the spider web. Oh, okay. So this way it will stay in place and you won't worry too much about it snagging on and trying to pull away. Okay. And if you just want to do it on this little, on the tiny side, you can, on the, on the bigger part, whatever you want, it will hold on to. And just kind of the trick for this so that it does not stick to your paintbrush is just do quick pull aways. Uh. If you get them on the spider web, it's okay because you won't be able to tell whenever it dries. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Alrighty. Once this is all, the, the Mod Podge to the hoop is all dried. Okay. We're going to go ahead and glue the spiders on. Okay. Now, what's the best method for that? So the big guy, I believe the best method is gonna be find some of the area that you've got the biggest clump. Like I would say for me would be over here. Maybe there for me. Yeah. Okay. And then or down here. Yeah. And then make like try and glue him onto the frame, onto the side of the frame here. So you'll want to paint Do it on him. all of his belly. Oh, okay. All of his belly. So, so you, you put it on him and not on the him. web. Yes. Or not the because any any part of the webbing will end up touching his belly. And that way you can be certain that it is actually getting on there. Okay. Painting the bellies is the easiest way to make sure it's on. Okay. Or it stays on. Uh, no! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, don't, don't attack my web. That's right. Okay. So you... So partially on yeah. the, do you have to pull them down? Yeah. He will wobble, but because of the Mod Podge, he should be able to stick. If you don't feel comfortable when you lift him with, whenever it's dry, you lift him up, go ahead and add some more. Okay. And then you'll do the same things with the babies. Okay. You just put them on the, the bellies and then just stick them wherever you want. That's the, the best part about this is you can put them wherever you want, however you just want. Or wherever they fall. I'm yeah. Yeah, pretty much if you wanted to do it that way. <laughs> well, it's not that I want to. <laughs> it's just that that's what's happening. All right, so we just wait for that to dry. Mm -hmm. And what's the next step? The next step is going to be figuring out where you want your ribbon to be placed. Okay. I would always sec 
recommend having the spider somewhere towards the bottom. Right. Is the heaviest heavier. point. Okay. Because if you do it any other spot, it's going to want to shift right. around. But the easiest part about the spider or the the webbing, you could just shift it over out of the way wherever you want it to go. So like, uh, okay, yeah. So like for me, I've got a lot of webbing right here, but I'm just gonna move it apart a little bit. And it will cling to the to the ribbon some. Yeah. Okay. And then I would suggest trying to get it as close to the tip of it as possible, just so you have that extra length. And then you just tie it in a double knot. <laughs> All right. And so once you're done, you can hang your wreath anywhere. And yeah. So thanks for joining us for our uh, carry out craft, which is the spiderweb hoop wreath. Um, you can still sign up. You can call any branch. Um, and then just wait for them to give you a call back to let you know that it's available for you to pick up and you can do your craft at home. Yeah. Um, thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time with Carry Out Crafts. Bye. Bye.